Okay, next we're going to talk about solving percent problems. And percent problems can be a little bit tricky. And first I'll explain to you why they can be a little bit tricky, and then I'll show you the method we have for solving them that will work every time. Percent problems can be tricky because they can be set up a few different ways. You might have something like this. You might be asked, what is 25% of 60? So you're given some total amount and you're asked to find the percentage. That's one type of problem that you could have. Or you might have this. You might be told 25% and you're asked 25% of what is 15? So 25% of what number is 15? And we're, So in this case, the total thing that we're taking 25% of, we're trying to find that total. Or you might have a problem like this. You might be asked 15 is what percent of 60? So all of these would be questions. I'll put the question marks in there. But there's three different ways that you can approach a percent problem, or three different, ty different types of problems that you could be given. You could be asked for one number, or the other number, or the percentage. And keeping that straight is the tricky part. And if you can keep that straight, and fortunately there's only three things that you have to keep straight, and if you can keep those straight, you can solve the percent problems every time. Now let's look at the vocabulary. Vocabulary, understanding what the words mean, is important in any field. So let's take this statement here. 25% of 60 is 15. And there are three terms that you need to know. The percentage is sometimes referred to as the rate. Sometimes you hear the word percentage as well, but it's often called the rate. And that's almost always the number that's followed by the percent sign. So the rate is the percentage. And it's either followed by the percent sign or sometimes the word percent. The base is the total. So in this case, 60 is what we call the base. The whole thing. 25% of what? 25% of that total amount. The total is the base. And it's often preceded, as you see here, by the word of. 25% of that. We're taking a certain percentage of the total. And that total is the base. So that's another term you should know. And then this is what we call the amount. The amount is the part or fraction of the total. So here 15 is a certain part of the total 60. And it turns out that the rate, this percentage, is always the ratio of the amount over the base. And you can see that mathematically right here. 15 over 60 is 25%. But those three terms you need to know, the rate, the base, and the amount. So let's, let's practice that a few times. Practice identifying those three things, the amount, the base, and the rate. So here's an example. 7.2 is 6% of 120. That's a true statement. 6% or 6 hundredths of this 120 is in fact 7.2. So what is the amount? The amount in this case is the fraction of the whole. 7.2 is part of the 120, so the amount is 7.2 in this case. And the base is the whole. And notice that the base is often preceded by the word of. So we're taking a part of the 120. So the base, the whole thing, is 120. And then the rate is the percentage. And you see the percent sign right there. So the rate here is 6%. Another one. 38% of 180 is 68.4. So what is the amount? Well, we're taking a fraction of 180, or a part of 180. Um, the part that we're taking is 68.4. That's the amount. 68.4 is the amount. And then the thing that we're taking a part of is the base. So the base is 180. And then the rate is the percentage. And once again, we see the percent sign. So the, race, the rate here is 38%. Now, in a lot of cases, what's very typical in a percent problem is that out of these three things, the amount, the base, and the rate, one of them will be unknown. And in these next examples, we're told to identify the amount, the base, and the rate. And if one of them is unknown, to write unknown in the blank. 
So this first one here, we're told, or we're asked, what is 20% of 170? Well, the whole thing, we're taking a part of 170. 170 base, the 20%, that's our, our rate, the percentage. So our rate is 20%. And we're asked, what is this fraction of 170? How much is it? That's our unknown. The amount is what's unknown in that problem. Knowing what you're looking for is an important thing, and that's what we're practicing right here. Identifying what it is we're trying to find. Here's another one. 63 is 15% of what number? Okay, 63 is a certain percentage of what number? Well, the percent is easy. That's the rate, 15%. So let's go ahead and write that in. And then 63 is some part of something else. So this of something else, that's the base, that's what we don't know, and 63 is a part of that. So 63 in this case is the amount, and in this case the base is our unknown. That's what we would be trying to find if we were to solve this problem and answer the question. And we'll be solving problems like that in just a minute. Here we're asked, 75 is what percent of 90? And we want to identify the amount, the base, and the rate. Well, 75 is what percent? What percent? We don't know the percentage, so that's our rate. What we call the rate is the percentage, and that's our unknown. So we'll write that in there. 75 is what percent of 90? So 90 is the total, that's our base, and then the part of 90 that we're looking for is, or the, the percentage that we're looking for is a certain part of 90, and that's 75. That's our amount. Now here's a word problem. Typically percentages show up in the real world in all sorts of situ situations. So you need to be able to put this skill to work with a word problem, a problem that describes something going on in the real world. So here we're told that 17% of the 200 students failed the first test. How many of the students was it? How many of the students actually failed the test? How many? So the amount in this case is our unknown. That's what we would be looking for in solving the problem. The, the base, the total, 17% of what? 17% of the 200 students. So that's our base, is the 200 students. And then the rate is the percentage, 17%. And one more like this. We just want to practice identifying out of these three things, which is the amount, which is the base, and which is the rate, and identifying which one is the unknown, the one we're looking for. And here we're told that John drove 280 miles before stopping for gas. At that point in his trip, he had traveled 40% of the way to his destination. What was the total distance to the destination? Okay, when we're asked here, what was the total distance? That total, the entire thing, that's our base, and that's what we don't know in this case. So the base is our unknown. The amount is the fraction of the, of the base, the fraction of the whole, and in this case, that's the 280 miles that he's driven so far. So I'll write 280, and we can put our unit on there, miles. And then the rate, we're told that the 280 miles is 40% of the way there, so that's our rate, 40%.